Hello everyone, my name is Luke Elijah. Thank you so much for watching this video. With me is my distinguished guest. His name is Bernard Tay. He's actually the Vice President of the Sagetsu Association of Singapore. Hello Bernard, thank Hello. you so much for agreeing to come and sharing your expertise and your craft. Could you tell the audience a bit about yourself? Give us an introduction. Uh, I've been learning Kibana for over 40 years. 40 I years? Wow! I started at the age of 18. This as old as... So this today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, arrangement with useful materials. Uh, they are the dragon willow and the hydrangea, which is a summer flower. So we use a very artistic vase, glass vase, and there's no kenzan inside or oasis, but we use a natural material, which is dragon willow, to support the material. So, All right, please give us a demo. Could you tell the audience, for uh, those who are completely new and watching, what's a kenzan? What's an oasis? A kenzan is a pin holder to uh, hold the materials in place and to secure it. Oasis is for the floristry or the flower design where they use and uh, it's unrecyclable, whereas the kenzan can be recyclable. Right, these materials is branches, did you yes. pick them up? Or you, uh, buy them? you can buy them from the florist and mm -hmm. uh, bend them so that uh, we can save time. So we make a simple circle and this is the bottom. So I'm doing upside down to, to wedge the vase so that it will stay in place. So we'll choose a nice, another nice uh, branch and then we will wedge this together. So we see the direction where it's suitable to be more uh, secure and always choose a, a nice branch and this is what I'm going to do because I'm trying to use less wire I'm going to use a natural material to support one another so this is a clip so you can see ingenious, it's so smart yeah, everything yeah. is uh, natural uh, Ikebana is something to do with nature and bring nature to the home and uh, Ikebana is very modern because we don't have tokonoma nowadays in the Japanese home we have tokonoma to put the Ikebana so now we have a modern home so in any place of your house you can put the Ikebana like even if, if you're in a toilet, you have a pipe and you can hang arrangement, Ikebana arrangement on the pipe. So I carry on. Really the sky's the limit, you're only limited by your own creativity, your own imagination. So my style is more sculptural as you can see. Mm -hmm. And this is a hydrangea, the hydrangea is a summer flower. The hydrangea is a very delicate flower, so you have to upside down and soak in water for about 20 minutes to half an hour to make it more lasting and of course the Japanese way of making the flower more lasting is to cut under water they call it nizigiri so also split so that the water can be more uh, drinking for the flowers so I have two, two colors one is the dark blue and the lighter blue so once we have the sculpture of the, the branches, we do not cover, but we focus on the focal point. I like how you're very decisive and confident. You know, yes, hands. I think yeah. it, it takes time. It's not just overnight that you can cut the exact length. So your mind has to be, uh, be precise on what length to cut. So now you can see the more focal point of the whole arrangement. So now to enhance, I just give a bit of color with this very unusual leaf. And it gives a nice texture to the arrangement. From your perspective and your opinion, how does the Sagetsu school differ from the other Ikebana schools? Uh, the Sugetsu school is a very modern school where we practice Ikebana can be placed in anywhere inside the home, outdoors and even uh, we have large arrangement as well as miniature arrangement the present headmaster Akane Tashikara introduced uh, even for the younger people the young 
uh, audience to participate in learning Kibana, like they are about five to six years old and they practice the Kibana in the headquarters. You make it so effortless, just a few minutes and boom, yes. look at this. So to highlight yeah. out the bus, I have this base here, silver base, to bring up the shape of the bus. So I'm sure everybody can do it with simple materials. For beginners, please use less. Less is more. Less bring out the beauty in your arrangement. Thank That's you. a good advice, right? But where can your audience go to if you wish to learn from you? They can come. Uh, they can email me b r n r d t a y at yahoo.com.sg, or you can visit my Instagram Bernard Tay. Hope you enjoy it. I'll be placing all his links below in the video description. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more similar videos. Thank you.